It's easy to forget that every high school sports program had to start somewhere and sometime. At Chesterton Academy, sometime is this year. And as A.J. Feldman will tell you, it requires the effort of almost everyone at school. Go. Building a basketball program from scratch is pretty tough. It's even harder when your high school only has 36 kids. At first, it was kind of humorous, our level of basketball. But for the first time, Chesterton Academy has varsity basketball. Four years ago, the school started fielding teams at the lower levels, and now over half the school makes up the inaugural varsity basketball class. Or even though some of us haven't played before, it's like, oh, it, it'll be fun. Some of these girls have only been playing for about three or four years, so it's, it's a challenge, but it's, it's going good so far. One of the perks of starting something new, every accomplishment is a first. How many other players can say they got their school's first ever win? That was definitely one for the books. We were all super excited. We were definitely on the edge of our seats, but we put it all together and we pulled through and we did really well. I'm really proud of us. Not only do the Chargers players now have a more complete high school experience, competing against local teams, cheering on their classmates, they're also getting an education only found outside the classroom. With, you know, losing comes lessons and, and Bill's character off that and, and then we turn the direction and now we're, uh, we're on the, back on the winning side. While both teams are thrilled to be just playing at the varsity level this season, the boys have even more reason to be excited. They're seven and four and currently on a four game winning streak. I think we might be able to get a few more and hopefully that'll translate to uh, mid-February and hopefully into March. Right now the boys will be a six seed in sectionals, an underdog for sure, but hey, they've never lost a playoff game before. In East Rochester, A.J. Feldman, News 8.